Hello everybody, this is Miss Valerie from the Whitefish Bay Public Library. During this time of safe red home, I know everybody's looking for something to keep busy. So I have something fun for the whole family. It's a, it's a game that you can make and play. And it's a Korean game called Yunori. And it's traditionally played at New Year's, at the Korean New Year's. Um, but it's um, become very popular and can be played anytime. So in order to make this fun game, you're going to need some supplies that you most likely have at home. Uh, first off, you'll need a large piece of uh, paper, preferably white and square, but if you don't have that, you know, regular office paper will work. Um, you'll need some popsicle sticks. You'll need four. But if you don't have popsicle sticks, I recommend you have um, four half sheets of paper. In addition, you'll need some markers any color, um, tape if you don't have the popsicle sticks, and um, player pieces, so buttons or coins or shells or anything small that you can use to maneuver your way around the, the game. So once we have all our supplies gathered, we're going to um, draw up a game board. All right, now that we've made our game board, we're going to now make our U sticks. And these will be used um, instead of dice. Use these paper instructions only if you don't have popsicle sticks at home.
Now that we've finished um, making our you know the game board and our you sticks, um, we'll be learning how to play. As you can see, I decorated my um, board using the colors of the South Korean flag, the red, blue, white, and black. Um, that's another activity you can do while making and playing this game is look up where South Korea is on the map. Um, maybe learn a bit about the culture and the food with your family. All right, so I'm going to teach you how to play the game. There are four ways to navigate the, the game board. There are a total of 29 stations. Each corner is you can use as a shortcut. This is home base, and these are shortcuts. So if you land on a circle, you can take a shortcut. So the first way to move around the, the board is to go all the way around, which would be the longest way. Um, next would be starting at home, going to this corner, taking the shortcut and the, and the second shortcut to home. That's the quickest um, way because to win you need to get back to home base. Number three is to go from the home base to this corner up to here and back down all the way. And the fourth way is to start at home, go to this corner, go to here, up to this corner and back down to home. Now in order to uh, navigate the game to see how many spaces you move, you're going to use your U-sticks, and these are used instead of dice. So you'll have your your player pieces at the home base, and then you're going to gently drop the sticks onto the table. Let's see what we have. I have three U-sticks with the polka dots and one flat. That means that I'm going to move my game piece three spaces. One, two, three. The next person will go to drop the sticks. And it will have one rounded, which the polka dots, and three flat. So that means that this next person is going to move only one space. And you keep going in this manner. But if you happen to land on a station where there's a, another player, that player gets returned to home to start over. So this game's a lot like the game Sorry, if you've ever played that. Um, so remember, whenever you land on um, a red circle, you can take that shortcut. Some more rules about the game using your youth sticks um, is how many, this determines how many spaces you're going to move in your turn. So if you were to drop the sticks and, and get one blue and three flat, that means you're going to move one space on the game board. Now if you were to get two rounded or two polka dotted pieces and two flat, that means you're going to move two spaces. If you get three rounded and one flat, three spaces. And if you get all rounded sides, you're going to move four spaces. And you get another turn if you get the sticks all the same. And if you get the sticks four flat with the red, you're going to move five spaces. That's special. <laughs> um, and you get to take another turn. Thanks for joining me today on how to make this traditional Korean game, Yunori. I hope you have a fun time with that, with your family. Um, more details on how to play the game will be available on the library's blog post at wfblibrary.org. Thanks, thanks again. Have fun.